I'm the Swedish guitar nerd, and today I'm reviewing the Squire Vintage Modified Jazz Master. Uh, yeah, this has been a request from, uh, again, Caribus. So don't be afraid to leave requests. I might actually re review those guitars. Um, yeah. And this one I wrote about when I first saw it. It came out in 2011. Uh, it caught my eye and I wrote about it in my blog, actually. So I have been looking forward to this review. Yeah, let's start. And let's start up here as usual. Uh, the tuners are uh, high grade, good quality clues on, cop clues on copies. They work really good um, and seem very reliable, actually. This is a higher price range than the usual guitars I've reviewed, so you can tell the difference up here. The neck is a one-piece maple neck, and that's the first in my review series. I've never reviewed a one-piece neck before, and uh, this goes back to the originals from Fender, uh, the Telecaster and the Stratocaster. They all had one-piece maple necks. Uh, the vintage modern, uh, the vintage modified. Uh, series of guitars from Squire is I think thought of as they make the originals and then they do modifications that they think that most players would like and um, that would enhance the originals. So in this case you get a maple fingerboard because that's not a usual thing. Uh, I haven't seen it on production models of the Jazz Master before. Um, and I like maple, so for me it's a good thing. It's an upgrade. We have an older body uh, with this nice yellow finish that you can see the wood through, actually. Um, Three-way switch, two Jazz Master uh, pickups from Duncan Design. We have concentric volume and tone knobs. Uh, the top is volume, the bottom is tone. So this is for the neck pickup, this is for the bridge pickup. Cool. New design. Uh, for bridge, we have something you'd usually find on a modern Dan Electro guitar. I've never seen it uh, on any other guitars and definitely not on a Fender guitar. So this is a new thing. Um, on the original Dan Electro Bridge, they had a one-piece uh, wood saddle. And this one has separate saddles for each string and you can intonate them as I had to do with this guitar. Um, it wasn't very well intonated from out of the box. And when you've done so, you tighten them the saddles down so this becomes like a solid unit. I actually like it. It looks kind of odd, um, but it works. Usually you'd find uh, some kind of floating bridge uh, on this Jazz Master style guitar. And that would, of course, cost a lot more. And well, this certainly stays in tune better than the bridge, uh, that kind of tremolo thing. So you might actually consider this an upgrade. It depends on what kind of music you're playing. Jazz master guitars have been uh, a favorite among surf guitar playing. So, um, and they, I suppose, need the tremolo um, to get those surfing kind of effects. Well, yeah. And then we have the output jack, that's a standard Stratocaster uh, output jack, and that's a rare thing. Usually it's down here on the Jazz Master. Well, I'm a Stratocaster guy, so I actually like it. You might hate it. It's, it's unusual for this kind of guitar. Okay, materials and hardware, it gets an 8. Build quality and durability. Um, as I said, the tuners feel really reliable and uh, of a higher quality. Um, 
Well, the neck feels very solid. Uh, it's the usual uh, fender specs in width and uh, depth. Uh, it has a slightly flatter radius than the vintage fender guitars. It's a nine and a half inch radius. Um, yeah, it all fits into that modified part of the vintage modified, as does the medium jumbo frets. Uh, they could have filed the fret ends a little bit more. Other than that, I really like the neck. It's I like the finish of the neck. It's glossy, but it's not sticky. Yeah, you flow around it. It's easy to get around. And it, I don't know, it fits. Um, the solid older body. Well, you can't go wrong with that. Good thing. Uh, the bridge, as I said, feels very tight and solid. You screw it all together and it's, yeah, it's a one piece basically. And that should give you good sustain. And you don't get that, I'm afraid. Uh, even though you have this straight up solid wood, solid wood, solid bridge. And I think it comes down to where uh, the neck means the body, the neck joint. We have a four bolt uh, attachment as usual on the Fender guitars, but it's not really tight. You have gaps visible actually around the neck pocket. And that I, th I think affects the sustain and that explains why the sustain isn't as good as sh it should be on this guitar. Because usually you'd have uh, a floating bridge tremolo and um, that of course affects the sustain in a bad way because they are moving parts. This is a solid unit. There shouldn't be a problem. Uh, reliability wise, the volume controls feel kind of loose. Uh, I'm not sure if that will be a reliability problem, but it makes me worried. Other than that, it's a solid guitar. Build quality, durability, an 8. Playability. Um, yeah, as I said, I like the specs of the neck. It feels good. It's easy to play. Um, and it's, yeah, it feels, it feels good. It feels like it's made for <laughs> my hands at least. Uh, I talked about the fret ends and that's not a good thing. The sustain. It's a bad thing and it affects the way you have can play this guitar. The string height is rather high and well, it's a common thing with Fender guitars uh, since uh, you have this rather rounded um, radius of the neck. This is flatter, so it's better, but yeah. And this depends on what style of guitar playing you use and um, well if you want a flatter uh, a lower action and a faster neck then you probably wouldn't buy this kind of guitar anyway you probably go with, for another brand and another kind of model so um, yeah it doesn't have to be a bad thing it's just part of this design playability it gets a seven Electronics, uh, we have, uh, as I said, Duncan Design uh, Jazzmaster pickups. I haven't seen this in other guitars. They might be <laughs> actually unique for this very guitar. Um, good quality. Uh, the three-way switch is good. Um, the concentric knobs work in a way that um, the top is volume, as I said, and the bottom is tone. And uh, the tone knob moves. It has... Can you hear that? It has 10 positions instead of being a regular rotary knob like the volume knob is. Just like a regular knob. And... Uh, well, you can like this or not like it. I think it's a good thing and... Um, because 
this you can leave a tone setting where it is you usually don't change that that much during songs um the thing is when you move the tone knob the lower part of the concentric knob the volume knob usually moves along with it so and that of course is a bad thing uh, so be sure to set your volume or your tone to where you want it before you start playing um other than that they work great both the volume and the tone so good thing the output jack is fine um so electronics a nine